Okay, so I'm here behind the circle garden in this little awkward space that never really gets used by anyone or anything except for our little hedgehog that um, has a little path. I'll show you quickly. And that dead grass there, that's his path that he comes through. He must be living in this bush of our neighbors. Um, so for Christmas, I got such exciting gifts. Not only did I get a retractable hose, which I was thinking would be my only gift, because I got it early, Fatty decided to get me some other things that not only I have been wanting, but our whole family. So we got a, I'll just show you here, a lovely compost bin and a worm farm over there. So Fatty and John, came and they um, mowed it over here and they picked up some things and they set up this compost bin and this worm farm. So I will show you the footage and um, we are so excited. Obviously I use a lot of compost in my garden. Just about every trip I make I buy a bag of compost and fertilizer too. So I'm using seaweed fertilizer that I'm buying and I mix it in my watering can. But if I can make my own worm tea, how much better for me and the environment. So we won't have to throw our uh, food scraps in the bin anymore. They can come out here into our compost heap and our worm farm. And um, so exciting for us, wonderful project for the children to be involved in and even, even more so good for the environment. So I hope you enjoy the footage. That's it all? More? No. Okay, Dad. Good work. Some more. Emma, you're gonna put the worms in for daddy? Yeah. Okay, careful. I see the worms. You see them? Whoops, careful, it's splattering worms on me. So today I am going to be working on the entrance garden. I'll show you in a minute what it's looking like. It needs quite a bit of work. And um, I've got some plants planned. I've got the children all around me, so hopefully I can rope them in for some help. 
and um yep that's it so um i hope you enjoyed the video um firstly let me show you what emma's up to Front. So hey, just Mom, can I pop? no broccoli on here okay all right i'll help you Get two meters. All right. I love you. Goodbye. Let me get filming while, now that I'm by myself. Come. Let's go and buy the box. All right. Okay, this is my third take. Right, so these are my plants that I've chosen for the new area. Right at the back, I'm going to put these manjir pole beans because I have those three climbing frames. And then for my tallest level, I've got this agaratum, which I've never grown before. I just really like the color and I thought it was quite interesting. Then I have a bunch of salvia. I already have salvia in there, perennial salvia that I grew from seed, but I need to fill it up and I want more of it. So I went and got some plants. Um, and then for the next layer, I have the zinnias, all orange ones. They're really lovely and bright. I thought the blue and the orange looked really nice together. And then from my most front lay uh, layer, I've got this lovely celosia. Uh, and I have a little bit more lysum, just in case I can fix my problem that I am about to show you. So there's the plants. Got a really good deal. They were six for ten dollars So um, I went ahead and got enough to make the garden look instantly pretty some of them got hurt on the way home because we had some boxes in the car and they actually shifted when we stopped at a traffic light and broke the stems off of one two three plants but i think i think we'll be okay they'll grow back now let me show you what we have going on here so this is the first thing we see when we get home things are looking a little bit sad these sweet peas have succumbed to the powdery mildew um, I've since learned that obviously the mildew is a problem but also they love the cool weather they don't like the hot weather so it is really time for them to come out um, I have my sunflowers the procut plums three meters it's uh, 2.3. Huh? About 2. 2. 2, 3, 0. Hey, imagine 3 meters. Oh. I don't know, where would we even grow it? Well, it did well because these were only supposed to be come to get 2 meters. Alright, I love you. Goodbye. Up here. I'm ready for them to also come up. They look a bit weird. I've learned this year. I don't like them to be in amongst my flowers. I like them to be on their own. Like I've got them at the end of the edge of that flower bed, right at the end. I've got five of them planted together. They look good over there. But I don't really like the way they look just in with the others because they're giants. They just, they don't really fit in with the rest. I have this dahlia, Anadia Ruth. It just does not get enough sun. It's not even 1 p.m. and it's already started to get shaded over here. So it's not producing nearly as many buds and flowers as the other one. So it has, it's not produced one flower yet. Okay, just to give you an idea, that's what the one looks like. That's Nadia Ruth. The other one is just around the corner here. There she is. Look at her. She's already given me one that I've cut and here are just so many buds. So that one needs to be moved. Um, will it survive the move? I don't know, but it's not thriving here anyway. So what I'll do is I'm gonna move it in from the shaded spot to a shaded spot. I'm gonna put up an umbrella around the corner and I'm gonna watch it carefully and nurture it and maybe it'll be okay look it probably won't be okay but I'm going to try this is didiscus that I grew from seed it's another cut flower filler plant 
was a pink and purple and white mix. And this one's just flowered today for the first time. It has the most gorgeous, delicate little flowers. It is so sweet. This one is doing very well. And again, that one has still not, still not caught up. Then I have that salvia that I planted over there and I've got one trying to come through over there. Um, I pulled one out from there just yesterday because it was full of either a mealybug or some sort of weird aphid uh, mutation that I've not seen before. So it was so full of them that I just decided to chuck the whole plant and then spray the guys around them. And I have some gomfrina trying to grow. There's a little white ball right there. This is Gomfrina. It is such a lovely plant when it's happy. So there's a white one and another white one and a little purple one. Maybe once these sunflowers are out and the salasum, it'll have some room to breathe and a bit more sunshine and it'll be happier. Um, so the last thing to explain, I'm talking for too long now again, is this salasum is dead because I tried to fix the powdery mildew by spraying liquid copper and um, I started right here and I don't know if I didn't mix it correctly maybe I didn't shake my bottle I don't know what I have done but I have killed all the plants in this area so the gomfrina that was in there is dead the salvia has died it's all very sad so what I'm going to do I'm thinking is I'm just going to potentially pull all the elasim out since I do have elasim in those two pots I did think it's a bit of an overkill but Nonetheless, it's time for me to get moving. Um, I don't always know exactly how it's going to work out till I start pulling things out and placing my plants. That's when I know truly what's happening. So we'll set up the camera and fast forward the whole thing for you. Okay, so yeah, we have the garden bed all planted and tidied up. I think it's turned out so lovely and sweet. Um, I like the nice clean, fresh look and the new layer of bark in the front. I have pulled out the salvias that were in here and I've planted them in Auntie's flower bed where I had pulled out some sunflowers. I replanted them there and I did um, end up removing some of the gomfrina and putting it in another flower bed because it just didn't look balanced or right. I have saved these two didiscus and even now looking at it, I'm not sure, but it does have a beautiful flower, so we'll hang on to it for a little while longer. I do have some fresh bark in there and it just looks lovely and fresh. Super chuffed. I put the sunflowers over here on the floor, the garden floor, it's the grass, um, and the birds have been going crazy. They've just been munching along here all day, I've been watching them through the window. So I'll leave this out here for them to enjoy just a little bit more. And that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye.